All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream on Kick, set up OBS so that all your docs are in place, like your chat and your activity feed, as well as set up Botrix so that all of your alerts come over smoothly. All right, I'm already going to assume that you have a Kick account created. If you don't, go ahead and make one. It's pretty straightforward. But once you have it, you're going to go to the top right, click on your icon, hit Creator Dashboard, and now on the left hand side, you're going to see these options. Click Settings and then Stream Key. From there, you're going to see your stream URL and your stream key. I think it goes without saying, don't share your stream key with anyone. That gives people direct access to your account, your stream. So keep that private. Do not share it. All right, let's move over and start setting up OBS. All right, in OBS, all we're going to do is click on settings. Then we're going to head over to stream. The service is custom. The server is the stream URL and the stream key is your specific stream key. Hit apply and then click OK. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the kick chat as well as the activity feed docs added to OBS. All right, we're gonna go to the top, click on docs, custom browser doc. The first one we're adding is chat. You can name it whatever you want. The URL is just kick.com forward slash your username forward slash chat room. Go ahead and hit apply. And you'll see that the chat box is now there. You can dock it whatever you want. The next one we're gonna add is the actual login. This is what prevents people from using your URLs and their own OBSs. So you're just gonna go kick and then just put kick.com, hit apply. From there, you're gonna see this pop-up. You're just gonna go ahead and log in and that's what enables the chat to work in OBS. And the last thing we have to add is the activity feed. So head back to your creator dashboard. You're gonna see activity feed, click the three dots, click pop out activity feed. You'll see the pop out on the top right. Make sure to just copy the URL. From there, you're just gonna add it into the docs just like you did the other one. So you can just name it activity, whatever you want, and then just copy paste that URL. You also can get rid of this kick one now since you're logged in, you no longer need it. So kicks API isn't public yet, which means that stream elements and stream labs do not work with kick at the moment. They have said that they're working on this and that eventually it will. But for now, we have to use something called bot ricks. Before we set up bot ricks, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It's the number one way to help me and support the channel. So head over to botricks.live. This next part is going to sound weird, but just follow me. You have to log in with your Twitch account and then connect it to your Kick account. It's weird, I know. That's just how they have it set up. So go ahead and click Login with Twitch. From there, you're gonna see your platform tab. It's just the default tab. You can sign in with whatever streaming platform you're using. So in my instance, I have it set up with Twitch and down below my Kick as well. All right, so to set up the alerts, you're gonna go to left-hand side and see this tab that says Alerts. Click on it. You can set up your sub, tip, follower, raid, whatever you want. The way it works is down below, you can style how you want your alerts to come up. So you can add images, different sizing, sounds, colors. There's a lot of different options here. Once everything is set up how you like it, all you need to do is just copy the widget URL, head over to OBS, add a browser source, and paste the link. All right, so to add the browser source in OBS, you're just gonna go down here, click the plus sign, go to browser, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna leave it as browser. And then from here, what you can do is just add the URL right here and hit apply. And there you can resize it to whatever feels best for you. All right, before we set up the chatbot, I wanna show you this really cool widgets tab. They actually have a lot of different widgets to set up and it makes it really easy. So definitely check this out. There's a lot of really cool things that you can add to your stream to make it a little bit more fun, like the emote on screen. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the chatbot. Go ahead and click on chatbot on the left side. And one thing that it mentions is you have to mod Botrix official on Twitch. It's just how it works. Again, I know it's super weird. So in your Twitch chat, do forward slash mod Botrix official. Make sure you spell it the same way it's spelled here. Notice that there's only one F. Someone created a Botrix official account with two Fs. Somebody wanted to troll, so. From there, you can add things like capitalization protection, link protection. Do you want people not to use the excessive amount of emotes? From there, you can add commands. There's the default commands. If you want custom ones, just click on my commands and add them, as well as if you want any commands to be posted on a timer, like your Discord link every 15 minutes, just go to timer and add it. There's even a loyalty system where you can add point-based rewards. And this acts pretty cool too, but you can do mini games. I haven't actually tried any of these. Maybe they're awesome. I have no idea. If you do try them, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think about them. And just like that, you're ready to stream on Kick and get that 95-5 sub split. My name is Kid Shadow. I stream Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Come drop by if you have any questions, any comments, need help with anything. I'm always live, always willing to help you guys out.